Hey, welcome back to my studio. Today I want to show you how to decorate this balloon hoop stand in a tropical baby shower theme. Now the first thing we need is a hoop stand, and you can either buy a metal version or you can build a customizable DIY version, which I've got that tutorial linked above for you. The first thing we need to do is color match the parts of the frame that will be visible between the balloons to the color scheme that we're using. And I'm going to use a black 260 balloon to do that. So I've put half a pump of air into this 260 balloon and tied it off. And then I'm going to stretch the nozzle of that balloon really tightly around the base of my balloon stand. And then I'm going to press that bubble of air flat against the pole really tightly, making sure I'm overlapping the top of that nozzle. And the tension of this balloon is going to hold hold it to the pole. So I'm going to continue to push that bubble of air tightly around the pole, making sure I'm not leaving any air behind in the balloon that's wrapped on the pole. And by stretching the latex out like this, it gives us a really flexible covering over our pipe that also matches the color scheme of our balloons. Now I'm going to continue to wrap this in a spiral all the way up to the pipe until I get near the end of the balloon. Once I get to about two inches of balloon left, I'm just going to nip the end of that to let the air out, making sure I don't let go of the end of that balloon and wrap it really tightly around the pole. Now over the end of that balloon, I'm going to take my next 260 and wrap the nozzle right over the top of where I finished, making sure I press the bubble of the new balloon over that joint. And the tension of this balloon will hold everything in place. I'll continue wrapping the frame in this manner until the entire base is covered as well as the sections of the hoop which will be visible between the balloons we'll put on later. Once you get to the end of the balloon and you're not adding any more on top, release the air and then wrap the balloon around with your fingers tucked underneath of it and then right in that gap where your fingers are, tuck the tail underneath of it and pull it tight. The tension of this will keep everything in place and you don't have to worry about it unraveling. Next we can prepare our round balloons and I'm using 7 inch gold and 5 inch black and green balloons. So the entire thing is all made from these tiny balloons and they're going to be inflated and tied into quads before we add them to the frame. First of all, I'm going to inflate 8 balloons to 5 pumps of air, press them down a little bit so they're nice and round and tie them off. Now these 8 balloons are going to be a mix of the 3 colors of balloons that I've chosen so it gives it a nice organic look. Then I'm going to take all the balloons of the same size and tie them together in pairs by stretching the nozzle of one balloon around the other, wrapping it around twice, and tying it into a simple knot. Once I got them all tied into pairs, I'm going to take two of those pairs and overlap them in the center so that the nozzles touch, and then twist one balloon from each pair around each other, and that will lock them together into a quad. I'll repeat this step with all of the different sizes of balloons I've got, and then we can move over to the hoop stand. So I'm going to take my first 5 pump quad and slip it over the hoop on the bottom left hand side. Then take the two balloons with the pole in between them and twist them around each other, and this will secure the quad to the frame. Now I'm going to take my second 5 pump quad and attach it to the top right of my hoop in a similar fashion. These first two quads basically mark the center point of my top section and my bottom section, and I'll be adding all my other quads on either side of these. Next I'll be adding the four pump quads. I'm going to take that first one and put it just to the left of the stand's pole. And then I'm going to shove my five pump one right up against it so that they're nice and snug and there's not really any gaps between those balloons. Then I'm going to add one more four pump to the right side of that and these two four pumps are going to camouflage the very top part of that stand so you can't see it in between the balloons. Now I'm going to add two more of these on the left side of that five pump frame before we move up to the top right side. Now on the top right side we're adding fewer quads than we are on the bottom left side. So up here, I'm just going to add one four pump quad to the right and one to the left. After that is our three pump quads, and I'm going to add two to the left and two to the right on this bottom side, making sure that every quad I add, I'm rotating it around so that one balloon is nestled between the two balloons next to it. On the top side, I'm going to add one on the left and one on the right as well before we can move on to our two pump quads. By slowly decreasing the balloons in this way, we're able to create a nice smooth crescent shape out of both the top and the bottom, and it gives us an organic look without it actually being organic, so we can make this very repeatable, and I hope that it gives you confidence knowing that you can make one of these and have it look just like this. For the one pump quads, I'm mixing it up a little bit, and I'm going to add two of these to the left on the bottom side and only one on the right side, and then I'll make my moon shape look a little bit more tipped upright. Now if you'd like a set of written instructions instructions to go along with today's project, I'll have a set of digital plans available in the description box below. 
By adding the final two quads to the upper section, that wraps up the balloon portion of our hoop, but we can't forget about the base of our stand. I've inflated four gold balloons to 14 pumps of air, and I'm going to slip that around the base of the stand, and then wrap the two balloons with the pole in between it around each other to secure it to the frame. On top of that, I'm going to add an all gold quad that's filled to 10 pumps of air and secure it in the same way. You could leave the base as all gold balloons, but I want to also make it look organic in nature. So I've made a bunch of pairs that are filled to 3 to 4 pumps of air each, and I'm going to take one of those pairs, tie it to a 260 balloon that I've cut in half, and then take a second pair and tie it to the other end of the 260. I'm then going to place one of those pairs in a gap between the gold balloons, stretch that 260 right across the center of the those quads and place the second pair on the opposite side of the base. I'm then going to repeat this with three of these quads until I'm satisfied with the organic look of the base. These balloon hoop stands are a beautiful way to greet your guests and let them know they've arrived at the party, and you can hang any lightweight signage in the center of these hoops using a little bit of fishing line. I've attached the line to my sign in four different places, and I'm going to take each of those lines and wrap them once around a balloon on the hoop. By only wrapping it once, I can then adjust the placement of the sign to make sure it's hanging nice and level. Once I'm satisfied with the placement of the sign, I can then wrap the fishing line in a figure eight pattern around a couple balloons and then trim away any excess lines. If you enjoyed today's project, you should check out this video next. And until the next project, remember, stay creative everybody! Bye!